Go away! Now! Mr. Poe? Are you all right? You seem so upset, I... Nancy, everything will be okay. But you must go now. Leave me to do what I must do before it's too late. No, I don't want to leave you like this. You're not safe here. Please, I'm begging you, you're not safe here. Go now before she finds me. She finds you? Who? What are you That's talking about? That's of no concern to you, okay? Now go! Now! Go! Edgar, please let me help you. Tell me what's happening. I'll do anything. What's happening? Talk to me, please. Edgar. What has happened? That's the last of it. She's safe. Who is safe? Edgar, you're scaring me. Debt must be paid. No. Nancy! Nancy! How did you find me so soon? As usual, you underestimate my abilities. You gave a valiant effort. You were truly close to getting away. I was right to choose you as my apprentice. Your time is up, and your act of defiance must be punished! Very well. I will not cower to you any longer. You have chosen a noble death indeed. <laughs> From my soul, from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor, shall be lifted. Nevermore. No. Karen. Karen. Karen, are you okay? Karen, the ravens again? No. This time it was Edgar Allan Poe. He was being attacked. Edgar Allan Poe, are you sure? Yes. Have you had many dreams about Poe before? No. This is the first one. What does it mean? It means we're on the right path. Come now. We're nearly there. Let's get moving. It's going to be okay. Careful, don't touch anything. I know, voodoo nonsense. But try to keep an open mind. Hello? Hello? Ah, ladies. Welcome to Madame Sable's house of voodoo. What brings you to see me? We've come for answers. What can you tell us about the curse of Edgar Allan Poe? Ah. I see. Most people don't typically make the connection to Poe and black magic. But there are clues for those with the right knowledge. Come. Yeah, sit. This is the memoir of one of Poe's closest friends and assistants. It details the very last days of Poe's life. And 
very strange events that occurred. I never knew such a thing existed. If you do, this is the only copy. Poe's assistant left the papers within a safety box. After her mysterious death, her family took the papers to a medium and hopes to contact their daughter. The medium recognized that in the writings about Poe, Nancy had witnessed things about the occult and that she had found books in Poe's office that contained spells and writings from Poe himself. Nancy took them in hopes to keep Poe from danger. And there are pages from the books that are within Nancy's journal. The medium convinced them that these papers were dangerous for them to keep. They only agreed to let her keep them for safety. Then how do you have the pages? That medium was my great grandmother. My family has promised to keep the secrets within this journal safe from the wrong hands. Hm. I can see I've piqued your interest. I can read a few excerpts if you would like. Yes, please. Very well. Let's see. Where should we start? Ah, yeah. Poe has been acting rather odd lately. He snuck away in the dark of night and returned in the morning with bruises and cuts. One day, I saw him with a woman dressed in black, her face covered by the hood of a cloak. He seemed so afraid of her. Oh. Are you okay? We need her help. Table. Get out! Get out now! What? Mm. Madam Sable, but... Don't touch me! Get out now! Stay away from me! You need to leave! But Madam... Get out now! Come Madam on, Sable, Karen! We need your help! Let's go! I need for some. She's of no help to us now. Go. I'm sorry. Here, go to the check-in desk. I've already made a reservation. Just say you're with Dr. Virginia Roberts. Fine. Thank you. She'll be safer with you. Come on, Karen. Pull yourself together. Karen, the ravens aren't real. The ravens are not real.
you know it's rude to go through other people's belongings? I'm sorry. I found it in it. How did you get this? We needed those memoirs, Karen. It was the only way we're going to get the answers I need. You need? To help you. Well, did you find what you needed? I saw that there was a couple pages missing. I think so. But we'll know for sure tomorrow. Tomorrow? What's happening tomorrow? We shall see. But for now, you need your rest. Here. Take two of these. They'll help you sleep. Yeah, I guess you're ready. Thank you. We're so close to solving your problems, Karen. I can feel it. What is this? Who are you? Why'd you bring me here? Please help me! Anyone! Why are you doing this? Everything's going to be all right. Karen. No! I trusted you! <laughs> Young, sweet Karen. It will all be over soon. What? What do you mean? You see, Edgar Allan Poe, a man desperate to save his dying wife, seeks the help of a voodoo priestess. Poe learns of the black magic that can help to save his wife. The priestess, impressed with his abilities, makes him her apprentice. But in return, Poe must oblige his soul to her for all eternity. But Poe only wants to save his wife. And when he does, he abandons the priestess. Poe flees with his wife, but they cannot escape the priestess. She is enraged. She makes it her duty to rid the world of the Poe bloodline. And so she does. Every last one of them. Don't touch me. She saves Poe for last, as to make him suffer. But before she can finish Poe off, he casts a spell and encases her in his book of writings. The only way she could escape, it turns out, is if someone strong enough in the black magic arts reads the pages in which she is trapped. Why are you doing this to me? Let me go! The book, the book was well hidden, and for many years it remained hidden. That is until Virginia Roberts, another student of the black arts, stumbled upon it. Virginia, hungry for more power, searched for a greater understanding and discovered the story of the priestess and the book. Excited, she reads it front to back. And the priestess's soul was released, and she latched on to Virginia's body. You were supposed to be a doctor. <laughs> Black magic can be a powerful weapon used to deceive those it's intended for. I couldn't gain your trust if you knew who I really was. This was all your plan, Virginia. That's right, Karen. I am the voodoo priestess. No! Why are you doing this to me? Why did you bring me here? Why did you just kill me when you had the chance, bitch? This is where it began. And this is where it will end. <sighs> now then. It turns out, Poe learned of my plan to destroy his bloodline and took action. He had his child hidden from me. That child went on to have a family and children of her own, and the Poe bloodline lived on. Me? You mean me? Very good, Karen. No. 
I had to make sure you truly were the descendant of Edgar Allan Poe. Your visions all but confirmed my suspicions. And now, thanks to you, Poe's betrayal will be vindicated, and I will finally have my redemption! It's time to begin! <laughs> Okay, you must listen. I can help you escape, but you must listen. Now concentrate and relax. Now, gentle on with me. Never more shall I be cast along the floor. Never more. 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 Dagger can kill me? <laughs> Leave us! Yes, Carry! Mortal weapons will have no effect on you. You must use the world. I was going to make your death quick. But now you're going to suffer. Slowly. And then I'm going to do the same thing to every last member of your family. Until the world is finally free of the likes of the Poes! Do it! No! No, wait! No! And my soul from out that shadow that lies on the floor! You shall be lifted! Never more! Everything's okay now. Who are you? The book. I remember the book. And then everything went dark. We were possessed by an ancient voodoo priestess. But she's gone now. We gotta get you help. Wait! I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm sorry. If I did anything to harm you. over. It's finally over. 